Hey guys, this is Stormhack from Stormhack Videos, and today I'm going to show you a video of me going 46 and 3 on Domination and Bootleg. It's on Modern Warfare 3. So, this video isn't the traditional Stormhack, it's my other account, Mr. Stormhack. So, just to make sure it is me, just on a different account. So I told you guys last video that I prestiged and leveled up to about, I think it was 12 or 15 or something. Yeah, so what I really like the prestige is, uh, I like the prestige shop actually because it gives you a reason to prestige, like before I just didn't used to prestige at all, I used to stay at either, the st I never actually, no I didn't stay at the stars, I always went to like first and stayed there but prestige shop it really gives you something to, to prestige for I mean who doesn't want like like a weapon that's like from level 77 to come down with you to level 1 I mean that's it's pretty awesome I like how you don't get like you have to use your prestige points to get custom classes. I don't really like that actually. Like that should be a given. I I also don't like that double exp. I don't really care about it. I mean it's just kind of a waste of time. Like what I think I ha right now I have seven custom classes plus I have an AK47 for me at the beginning of each prestige so. I think for the next three prestiges will be custom classes. The fifth one will be that uh, hardcore package title and emblem. The sixth one will be the just that regular package emblem. Then I think I'm going to go up to veteran to get that emblem. And I don't know. Maybe I'll reset my stats. Maybe I won't. But. Oh, that's that's not fair. Yeah, so that's actually a pretty smart idea. I mean, they'd have people sitting at level 80 or whatever the max prestige was for like Modern Warfare 2. This one, it's 80. Modern Warfare 2, it was like I don't know, 50 or set no 70. And they just have people staying there the whole time. But now you get like little bonuses, which I think is pretty good. Like I know, 80 levels, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have gone to first. I would have stayed right there. But I want to see what those prestige things are. I'd have to say, if you want something that's worthwhile, go get that unlock gear. That's pretty good thing to get. I mean, it really helps you. You don't have to use all the unpowerful little weapons at the beginning of the game. You get to use, like, I have a full AK-47 and that's helping me. What I've noticed though that is really similar between Modern Warfare 2 and 3 are the challenges. Like even the names of the challenges are still the same. Like, couldn't they have changed it up? I mean, I could basically tell all the challenges and do them based on Modern Warfare 2. Like, there's uh, misery loves company. That was the same. You gotta blow someone up with all cooking a grenade and killing yourself. Or friends with benefits and enemy with benefits. Stick a grenade to one of the, 
one of them each, like a friend or an enemy, and have them blow somebody else up. That's the same. They're, it's basically all the same. I think. I don't know. I think besides the kill streaks, the only thing that's different are really some of the guns. But that's just my opinion. I think they really should have changed something up. One thing that I mostly 100% don't like about this game is the spawns. And every I think everybody can agree with me on that. I mean, you kill somebody and they get spawned behind you. Like that's just unbelievably stupid. I mean, I I'm I'm sure that I could have made better spawns with my eyes closed. At least the spots would be more random. I mean, I'm that that's kind of true. I mean, I'm I'm right there. But it's like, you get killed and they'll spawn you right beside somebody, right in front of somebody, but it's like, never behind anybody, ever. It's just them that get spawned behind you, that's how, that's what I've noticed. I think, I think I really fail with this Reaper, just to let you guys know. First one wasn't bad, I don't think. This, I don't know what it is, it's like a bridge or something. But yeah, so the, the it's it's terrible the spawns in this game. I think I don't think they were really thought out of how it was gonna work, and they didn't make them anything wonderful. I'll tell you that. Ho oh, oh, ho! Triple. And it's, it's kind of weird too, like, I've noticed that when somebody just spawns, it's like they have painkiller on. It's, like, I'm telling you, that's not very, I mean, yeah, if you're gonna die a lot, but still, it's not fair that you guys, that the people who are just, like, just spawned fresh off the bat, that are right beside you, can take more damage than you, than you can. That is what I'd have to say is the worst part about this game is the spawns. I don't really care about the gun damage. I mean, once you learn how to use them, you can use them. But the spawns, there's no excuse for that. Well, I'm sorry. And here's the end of the game. Look at that, we doubled their score. Oh, and my helicopter got the game winner. See, that's Mr. Stormhack. I'm Stormhack, and I'm Mr. Stormhack, too. So, I'll just show you guys the final score here. 46 and 3. Mr. Stormhack. And thank you for watching, and remember to uh, check out my channel and subscribe. Thanks.